Hey, 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 welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. We're dropping faith-based weight loss motivation. Hey, y'all, hey, it is Vado Day number 15. It's Queen Fitness here back again for yet another video. Um, I just want to come on this today and just remind you guys, you know, how important it is to make preparation for what you want to do. So we're getting ready to start a new week. It's Sunday. Um, we made it through another week. We're at the halfway mark, guys. I'm super excited about this Vado. Um, this consistency has been doing me a world of difference. Um, right now, I'm preparing myself for my new week by um, doing something important like doing my laundry, getting my work ready. I just got through um, touching up my hair and, you know, I'm going to get ready to go um, and do a quick cardio workout so that I can set the tone for my new week. Y'all, it is so, so important for you to have a game plan and for you to mentally prepare yourself for whatever it is that you plan to do this week. Um, my sister often used to say when she was on the channel, um, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Y'all, um, your workouts should be something that you have already set in your mind what you're going to do and put it on the calendar. Put it on the calendar what days you're going to go do leg day, what days you're going to do arm days, what days you're going to do cardio, whatever. That way you can develop a routine and it can be something that's just automatic for you. Um, yeah, at first it's going to be something you're going to have to push yourself to do. But after a while, you won't even have to rely on that calendar anymore. It'll just be It'll just be in a natural response for you that on Wednesday go in there and do your legs on on Friday do back whatever your whatever areas you're targeting. Um, of course, we've talked about on this channel um, many times that everybody's on their own journey. So maybe what I need to work on ain't something that you need to work on, and vice versa. But um, just map it out, and I promise you, when it come down to um, having you don't have to create your own patterns you can go and you can watch um watch different videos and and get a stra strategy that you want to follow you can go on there and you can research different diet plans and things of that nature that you can follow and they can give you specific measurements and how to actually do it but it's just up to you to make the decision what speaks to you and what it is that you feel like are going to be um be beneficial to you of course you know sometimes when it comes down to it i have on my journey at one point i tried following keto i tried um i have done low carb diet i have uh, attempted intermittent fasting but whatever it is that you feel like you, might be beneficial to you vegetarian whatever however level you could be disciplined with your nutritional habits do that but for me at this point in this season in my life i am not following a specific diet but i am focusing i told y'all for the next 20 for these 21 days i have been focusing on trying to get more more um vegetables on my plate so that i can have a more balanced diet i am i am just really just getting myself to the point where i'm just familiar and i'm comfortable with these just picking vegetables so i'm just starting out um just laying groundwork in that area i am not really necessarily following um monitoring calories because my main issue has been in the past not eating at all so really i'm just trying to make sure that i keep myself on a routine schedule trying to eat regularly and eat make sure when i do pick i'm picking the wiser decision out of the two like i shared with y'all um last week you know went to the restaurant and the first thing my flesh came to i just wanted this i don't know it was something i never even tried but it was like some kind of cinnamon roll something it looked really good on the picture but i looked at the calories and then i looked at the the pesto pesto veggie um omelet and i seen that that calories were like less than half of the other thing that i was looking at so i made the wiser decision and cho chose the pesto um veggie um omelet and it was actually really good so i found out that sometimes 
we can just look with we'll take what's appealing to ourselves and really just do more damage to ourselves than actually being willing to step outside of the box and take on and try something new you may never know because at first i was really skeptical about this pesto because i had never had it before but it had the the um omelet that i chose it had mushrooms and tomatoes it had onions it had avocado it had pesto and it was egg whites and it was it was fulfilling and it was nutritional so you can you you can enjoy a meal outside of your home that is healthy that is balanced that is beneficial it's just a matter of you weighing the pros and the cons and taking a look at what's in front of you and making a wiser decision so i was proud of myself and then i um to go along with it i had some fruit and i really wasn't even when i got done i, I was satisfied and i had some food that would sustain me versus having all this the sugar and all the stuff that was going to crash later so it, it, you can use you gotta just read take a minute and take a breather read pet compare you may not necessarily be at a place yet where you just know everything and none of us do but that's why you take the chance to read um read the menu read the options that they have and the information that they have and it is good to choose a restaurant that does give you some form of a caloric um estimation of what that food because be honest with y'all a lot of that stuff it can not necessarily be the exact calories but you'll have an idea of how much you really gonna consume if you actually eat it and then, then you'll be able to make the decision on if it's worth it we talked about last time how um eating a little debbie and when you start thinking about oh that's 400 calories and i gotta be on the treadmill for an hour to be able to burn just that one one little debbie y'all and and most people are not gonna just eat one and so you really think about it. If I have two little Debbie's, that's 800 calories. And 800 calories, I could have had a whole salad. I could have had me some, I could have had, actually had two meals. If you really prepare your meals at home and you make a fresh salad, you could have ate breakfast and lunch for that. You really could. And then you go through all that and you really have had nothing no nutri of any nutritional value and it's just something that that hype you up put make you full of energy for a moment and then you crash later so it's something that i'm learning along my journey um this is some this is an area that i'm praying that god can heal and deliver in it's not an area that i'm just um perfect in but it is something that i'm striving to get better with um, this week I've been doing California vegetables and I, I like cauliflower and I like broccoli. I like carrots. So those are, uh, that's a good, um, vegetable medley that you can just pop it in the oven, just roast the vegetables, put you some seasoning on it and some, some, some light oil and, and just, you can saute it on the stove or however you want to do it. And there, you can get a bag of the California vegetables from, from Walmart in the frozen food section, you get a big bag for like five dollars. And if it's just you, you can really eat off that one big bag of um Cal California vegetables, four or five meals. You can make four or five meals out of it. And all you gotta do, you can get the, the do your meal prep. You can get your bag of California vegetables and a pack of boneless skinless chicken and uh. Cook that boneless skinless chicken like with flavor to season how you want to put it in the oven. Put your vegetables in a roasting pan, season to put in the oven. And all you gotta do is get your containers, set them up in your containers, and you be be ready to have lunch all week. And for that, you gonna spend ten dollars for some chicken and some um vegetables to sustain you for the whole week. Maybe maybe twelve dollars maybe with inflation, but twelve dollars to sustain you for the whole week versus going out to the restaurant every day and spending ten or twelve dollars in one meal and then offsetting your diet because you don't have one meal at a drive through depending on what it is and be over a thousand calories and you put yourself in a caloric surplus where doing that you can put yourself in a caloric deficit. So and if you like me, I'm not really big. I don't really know a whole lot about counting calories. So you can use apps like Lose It 
on my fitness pal and all you have to do is type in uh one piece of boneless skinless chicken breast and it'll tell you exactly how many calories is in that one piece to then you put a cup of cup of mixed vegetables put the type of vegetables that you had in it to tell you how many calories it in of course you know if you really want to be more meticulous you have to put in the oil and all that but if you're just trying to get around a ballpoint figure of where your your um calories are so you can see you know and of course you want if you're on a, you're working on a um specific plan and you want to lose a certain amount of weight then with those with those apps you're going to put in your height your weight and then it'll tell you how many calories you can have for the week to to lose your weight and then it'll tell you how much and how much time you can estimate to actually get to your weight so that's why i like watching like using those apps and being able to gauge my progress and being able to you know it'll show you when you put in your breakfast you put in your lunch you put it'll show you when you get down to dinner how many calories you have left and then it can kind of give you an idea of whether i can have a, this elaborate meal or if i need to scale back and just have me a little salad or however you want to do um statistically they recommend that you have your highest calorie meal first thing in the morning so statistically they say that you should eat like a king for breakfast eat like a queen for lunch and eat like a peasant at dinner time which means you should have your heaviest meal in the morning and then your your lunch should be a little bit more a little bit less calories than what your breakfast was and then your dinner should just be something light to sustain you through the night because it, um ideally you do not want to have your heaviest meal right before you go to sleep and then you put yourself run the risk of having acid reflux and being miserable when you're sleeping because you didn't have enough time to actually burn those calories before you lay down on them honestly we're never supposed to feel full people we've taught ourselves that you're supposed to eat all your food and you're supposed to feel stuff and that's a bad habit when you get to the point where you feel full you've had too much and so the portion control is a big um important um component and there are different charts that you can use and they can tell you how to even eyeball it, just measuring why laying a piece of the protein should fit in the palm of your hand. So the amount of protein you're supposed to consume should fit in the palm of your hand. And then it'll give you, the, it's different um, tools out there to help you if you don't really understand how to uh, prepare your portions. Because there even are little cups and containers out there that you can just put the amount, put, it'll tell you how many starches you need to go in here, how much rice, I mean how much starches and how much grains and how much uh, vegetables you need to have to have a balanced meal. But yeah, that's a that's a depend on the person, depend on what you need, it depend on what you're actually working on. If you're lose, trying to lose weight or if you're trying to build muscle, all of that stuff is taken into consideration when it comes down to planning your meals and um how to actually fuel your body appropriately. So yeah, I like um reading and watching these different uh experts break down how to feed your body and the macros and all that stuff i'm i'm getting a better understanding of it but it i it's still kind of clouded to me I ain't, everything ain't clear but yeah i just wanted to come on for a few minutes and just encourage you guys to set the tone of your week um today make today and then take the time to to think about what it is you want to do how many how many days you want to work out um what are your fo what is your focal point this week are you gonna um as far as your nutrition and, and whatever whatever area you feel like you need to work on and set you a small goal this week say okay um i want to work out three days this week that's my goal and my goal is to work out monday wednesday and friday monday i'm gonna do leg day wednesday i'm gonna do uh, upper body and and then friday is gonna be cardio whatever you want to do um set it out there put it out there and and then give let somebody else help hold you accountable um it's very beneficial when you have somebody else that can say okay now this is what you said you wanted to do this week and they can remind you of those areas when you start to start to back off and you're not really as uh productive as you should be or if you just starting to deviate from your meal plan or whatever it is put it out there let your family hold you accountable get call your girlfriend and say hey sis listen 
I am really focused, trying to get focused this last quarter of the year, and I really want to make some achieve some great things and i want you to hold me accountable listen this is what my goal my game plan is and and i need you to just you know keep in touch with me help me um keep my mind um keep my eye on the prize help me um just just keep my myself fo um working in that direction and i promise you if they really your inner circle if they your real friends They'll be glad to do that. They'll be like, yes, yeah, sis, let's do this. And they'll come in alongside you and join in the journey with you and encourage you on the way. Remember, we are stronger together. Um, I want you to want to remind you to embrace and enjoy your journey. Don't be stressed out. Don't be making it so rigid. Have fun with it and, and do what's necessary. You can do this. I believe in you. If it's the Lord's will. I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want you to embrace and enjoy your journey. Goodbye for now.